So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video and the second day of uh, I guess my daily snipes or highlights. So I've gone through and basically picked up 24 icon deals, so I'm just going to show you guys what we picked up, uh, any highlights, and what I'm going to be planning to sell them for. So, uh, picked all these up in probably about 30, 40 minutes, so it's nothing too crazy. Schmeichel picked up for 240, going to try and sell that 270. Uh, Pires picked two of these up for about 230 two, two below, going to sell both them for 250. Uh, Giggs picked two of these up under 150, going to sell them for 162. Trezeguet's picked three of them up for 180, going to sell them for 195. Uh, Ladra picked up for 125, just gonna sell for 135. Picked a few decos up for 125, gonna sell them at 135. Uh, picked up this lamp pad at 185, gonna sell for 200, so another 5k profit there. Picked up two Owens for 127 and 128, gonna sell both of them for 140. Anything else? Uh, just picked up loads of treasure gates at 125, you can sell them at 135 pretty easily. Got that one for 115, that's decent. That's a nice little uh, 14k profit. But yeah, so we've uh, just gone through and picked up all these cards about 30, 40 minutes. The uh, the way I've been picking them up is generally just going over to Footbin. Very, very easy method. You go Footbin, you go Icons again. Got this uh, method from Foot Donkey, so you go and thank, thank him for that if you uh, end up doing this making good money. But um, yeah, basically just sort of your icons, low to high, and then you just scroll through and see if there's any deals. Again, like when I see a trez again, I know he sells 135, so that pops up for 125. Then I'm interested because I know that I can sell for 135. So. I see him for 125 right there. I'm just going to go and type Trez game. And again, anything for 125, I'll go and buy it and flip it for 135. And I think what made like 4 5k a card, I guess. No, that's 135. 125. And there you go. If there was any cards, I would go and pick them up. But uh, yeah, that's basically what we do. And uh, I'll show you guys some next deals. Some next deals. Good England, my friend. So we're going to go a few more deals. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the market's slow right now, which is a little bit worrying because that means that uh, the market could be dropping, which means I would haven't basically have overstated prices for everyone. But... We have gone and got ourselves a very good deal, uh, as well as loads of other icon deals, so let's walk through a few, a, a few of them. Uh, gone and got myself an Owen for 110, this is a really good deal right here, we're going to flip this for 140, uh, which as a result will make me a nice little 23k profit. Uh, a few other cards, Vieri got 110, I'm going to flip that for 120, so let's just make a little 4k profit. Uh, Petit, this one wasn't amazing, got this one for 204, uh, I'm going to flip that for, is it 225 I think we were looking at earlier, so yeah, it's nothing uh, too crazy on that front. Uh, and I believe, yeah, I believe that's all true. I also went and picked up these two cards. So I flipped this card for 24k before. I'd also be pretty uh, confident I could potentially flip this card for maybe about 22, 21. Um, but yeah, there you go. Just a few more deals. So we got ourselves some more deals. So let's walk through a few of them. We've got the close here for 100. Going to sell that 120, which means we're going to take home a 14k profit. Uh, Where's we got? We got ourselves a uh, Clyde Bill. Going to sell 167, which means we're going to take home a 10k profit. And I believe. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, we also got an Akata right here for 110. We're going to sell that 120, uh, just take home a small 4k profit, but there you go. A few more snipes. So we're going to go ourselves a absolute stonker of a deal. And that is a Del Piero here over at 800k. Uh, and yeah, not too bad. Now, I, I did take a bit of a pump with him because I've actually never flipped Del Piero. But I went and compare price, and I'll show you what happens right now if I compare price. If we go and compare price, we see a, right, a few here for 80, 70, 80. So, uh, yeah, basically you can dictate, dictate, dictate a word. From that, that he's at least going to be about 878, 80. And I'm looking at his hourly right now, and I'm seeing a fluctuation up there to 880. I was thinking he was 880 this morning. Look at yesterday, and he's even up here at 8, around about 890 and 890. So I'm actually going to go and send him for 880 uh, whenever I get a space in the champs list. And that 880 is obviously going to go and turn over a 40k profit, which isn't too bad. Might as well show you what's sold on as well. Lampard got for 170, so that's a 10k profit, profit and I believe the Nakata is break even, but not too bad. So, a few decent snipes uh, later. Let's go and see what we're going to get or what we've got. We got ourselves a... No, that's not it. Sometimes when you snipe cards, they don't pop up. Great little glitch. There we go. So, we're going to set up a Haji right here for 300. I believe this Haji I'm going to go and flip for 330. So, that's going to be a 15k profit. Litman, not bad. Uh, got that for 140. Going to flip that for 160. So, that's a... What, 14k profit. Uh, Trezgay, got that for 124. Going to sell that 135. Uh, a culture got for 160 and flip that for 180. So some nice little snipes there uh, with the icons, and we've had an icon sale. Anything interesting? A Clive that we would have got for about 185, flip for 90. Uh, sorry, 200. So a 5k profit. So we've gone and got ourselves a uh, well, a few more sales. So let's go through it right now. So you got yourself Del Piero. Got this Del Piero over at 800k. Flipped him for 880k, which means you've got yourself a uh, well 44k tax, which means you've made 36k profit. 
And uh, we've got a few other deals, so let's walk you through them right now, if I can remember which ones we've bought. So, what have we bought? We bought ourselves Schmeichel here at 235, going to try and sell that at 270. What have we got? We've got ourselves a Lindner career at 265, going to try and sell that at 290, going to make 10k profit on that. Got a Barassi here at 240, going to try and sell that at 260. Got a coach here for 131, I don't think there's anything too crazy. Uh, got three Lampards at 185, going to try and sell them all for 200, make 5k per card. And I believe, oh yeah, got this uh, run for 161, going to sell that at 180, which means to make ourselves 11k profit. So. I believe that is a run. So we've just basically just picked up loads of those good deals. I mean, you got this guy at 139, I guess at 160. I think I've already shown you that, though. But there you go. That is the next set of um, cards. We're going to show you the next set of deals we managed to get. So got ourselves one or two more deals. Oh, sold a Clive right here for 167. And sold a Vieri for 145. Uh, but the reason that is significant, because we sold him for 167, and we've literally just gone and picked up uh, two right now. We're going to pick one up here for 151. So obviously that's 16k difference. Uh, going to be 10k profit, and if we can find another one, there you go, picked up another one there for 152, so I think that's a 9k profit. So not too bad, uh, other than that, have we picked up anything interesting? Probably just a few more Larsons at 1-2, uh, yeah, and then we picked up another loud drop here at 1-2-4, we for 135. so not too bad. Actually, nope, I lie, I lie. We actually picked up like two deals in a row, we got that loud drop back to back with this Katuso, which we're going to go and sell for 275 and take home about a 12k profit. So we've gone and got ourselves a few more deals, a few more cards. Tresge, normally 5k on that. Vieri, normally 10k on that. And Deco, normally 5k on that. So, let's go and show you guys what we've managed to get ourselves. Uh, we got ourselves... Okay, you guys know about the periods. Saved off a little bit risky. Uh, gone and bought him out basically 580. You're going to probably sell him for about 630, which means I'll probably make a 20k profit. Uh, who else do we have? Who we just going to go? We've got Sanchez here at 230. You're going to be selling him for 260. It's not bad. That'll be a nice little um, like 18k profit after tax. Uh, righty, I'm not quite sure if I showed you, but going for 147, going to sell that for 165, so, again, that's going to be 12k after tax. Anything else we picked up? Uh, I don't believe so. The thing is, we buy a lot of, we buy a lot of duplicates, and obviously these duplicates just end up here, so. But yeah, not too bad, got ourselves a few more icon deals, again, all using that, uh, 100k maximum bid, uh, filter, and yeah. Just play a while I remember before I go and list them up. Uh, also got this cost for 187, going to be selling him for 205. Uh, which does mean I take home about an 8 or 9k profit on him. So I've gone with a bit of a ballsy play, because uh, we've gone and picked ourselves up Juan dos Tres Cuatro. Yeah. Uh, Hieros. And I've gone with Hiero because I've sold him in the past for 330k, which would mean basically about 12k per card, which would mean 48k. Now, it's a little bit risky because they dropped an Ogbonna, and I presume as a result of dropping Ogbonna, all Icorn centre-backs are down because people are replacing these cards with Ogbonna. So, uh, yeah, a little bit risky, but, um, you know, could end up being a really, really nice little play because, again, he's there. He's been about 320, you know, 320 there, 340 this morning. I'm trying to go 330. I'll show you right here. 330 there, 330 there, 320. So, he's been quite nice. Um, wait, he's been quite nice recently. So, yeah, the plan of action is... Okay, get, get another one. There you go. Add another one to our collection. Five Hieros, which will hopefully turn over a uh, combined profit of 60k. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to sell them at, uh, you know, 330k a piece. Any interesting sales as well? Nah, just the Varun we got for 161, and the Trez Gates we get for about 124. So we are going to end off episode 2 of the Daily Deals, and uh, we'll just show you guys what sold on overnight. So we got 10 sales overnight, not bad, uh, especially bear in mind we're on Weekend League sell-off, which is basically when players start to drop, so obviously you'd expect less sales at yesterday's prices are if uh, cards are dropping, but... More for them, nonetheless. We've got a Trezeguet here for 195. You guys have a loud drop at 135. We've got a right at uh, 165. Buying a few of them for 147 yesterday. So, uh, yeah, not too shabby. Coacher, one, uh, obviously 142. Uh, we've been buying Clivers recently for about 150. So, good to see two sales in them. Trezeguet, we're always getting at least like 4 or 5k on. Uh, and that's all she right. This Trezeguet has dropped from like 280 to about 240 at the moment, which is uh, kind of crazy. So, not bad for day two. Hopefully you guys uh, have enjoyed these daily icon sniping uh, series, likewise with the uh, new Road to Glories. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Obviously we'll have a brand new Road to Glory episode and a brand new uh, brand new daily like sniping. Uh, I don't know whether we're calling this highlights or whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.